All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Stereo Surgeon, and I'm gonna show you how to make this cool little reversed audio effect um, for your synth lines or whatever you really feel like doing. And this is what it sounds like. So that. That's the effect I'm going to show you how to make. So, I'm going to start. I have this little MIDI clip over here. It's what we're going to be using. Nothing too exciting. Just this and that. Um, and this effect, I think, will work best with plucked kind of instruments or instruments with a fast attack and a quick delay or decay. So, they disappear quickly. And I'm gonna make one real quick. So the saw is fine. I'm gonna turn on the second oscillator, put it down an octave, detune it a little bit. Um, turn on the filter, put it on 24, so it's a steeper filter. Bring it down to about 300 something. Um, adjust the envelope a little bit so we can listen to it. Let's see, but you can't hear any of the sound, so that's when we turn this up. Alright, so that's pretty. I'm gonna detune it a little bit to give it more of a super soft. Yeah, there we go. So that'll work. That'll be our plucked sound. And so now this is where the magic of it comes in. You take this MIDI and you're gonna, we're gonna reverse it. So, the three stepper on the bottom is easy enough. You just reverse that by sliding it over one. Um, the top is going to be a little bit more interesting. So, we're going to have to move this. So, let's. This starts on D sharp. So, we're going to move that up. D, let's see. Yeah, D sharp right there. So, I'm going to move that down here for a second. And then move these. Over, so it's two from the back. Alright, there we go. Move this up. It says D sharp right there. So you can see those are the same. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to mirror these over the 1.2 right here. So he's going to get flipped. And he's going to get flipped. And he's going to get flipped as well. Alright, so that side's good. Now we're going to mirror these. So this one's one from 1.4. So we're move it one and then this is two like that and then we're just going to flip that one over and so now if we look closely at these mini it should be a reflection like that which it looks like so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to record the audio on that one so um i'm going to put in a audio track arm it arm it Ooh. um and I'm going to take it from the audio 4 because that's where the synthesizer is that we're using alright so uh, take that to the beginning make sure we get a reversed audio this is our s normal audio so we name that normal and this right here is going to be our the reverse MIDI. So move that over here. Um this thing doesn't need to be that big. Um so now we're gonna take it back to the beginning on oop uh arm this track. Oh don't be difficult. Mm. Wants to be difficult all of a sudden. Let's see. Analog it's an N and now, um, I'm going to record it. So. Actually, I'm going to redo it real quick. I'm going to let that play out. Okay. Okay, so now we got our audio. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put it back on 
normal. Uh, so now, this is where the real trick comes in. Go down here to, you can get that by double clicking the sample, and you press this REV, which reverses the audio. So now, we're going to move our reverse MIDI over here. We're not going to need that. So now we're going to move in and compare these two. So uh, this this audio right here is a little bit too late. So you can see how the notes don't line up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge it over so the attack has just started for each note. So just a little bit more like that. And so let's see how that sounds. That's already a pretty cool effect right there. So, but to take it to the next level, I'm going to come down here um, with the uh, EQ8. And so what the EQ8 is going to do, um, the Live's EQ8 has a middle versus side add-on that you can do. And so what this does is it uh, middle is the frequencies that are the same or the mono frequencies between both channels and side is uh, all the sounds and frequencies that are different between the two channels so for this I'm gonna take a high shelf or yeah a high shelf and just lower the middle and then I'm gonna take the same and I'm just gonna boost the sides like that so now if we just listen to this track like this and so this is without and then this is with it. So it's more on the side, nothing too crazy. Um, so let's see how that sounds together. Alright, and there's one more thing I'm going to do actually. I'm going to compress, use a uh, side chain on that one. So I'm going to sidechain it against the analog 4, which is the first one. So I'm gonna take that down pretty harsh, pretty fast. So let's see what that sounds like. So now it's more pronounced. These are, these are just by taste, though. So if I take them off, there's not too much of a hard attack. Um, let me reduce it. Threshold a little bit. So that's it. That's a reversed audio from reversed MIDI. So use this, enjoy it, and take it easy, YouTube.